the cupboard you see here this is a treasure the treasure box basically you can find lot of in it lot of crap lot of junk but the reason i'm saying treasure is sometimes you end up finding a bag like this this is something interesting i thought it is something interesting to show it to you guys welcome back to the channel guys what's up guys kaise ho lana ro hope everyone is doing Great. Now, when you want to go out in rainy season, you have two options to protect yourself from rain. Option number one, you take an umbrella and go. Option number two, you don't go out. Option number three, <laughs> you wear a bag like this. You see this? That's a crazy umbrella over my head. Protruding from this bag, you see that? Super interesting bag. But obviously, it is gonna look really weird if I walk like this in the street. I don't know how useful and practical is this. Oh, there is height adjustment as well. Actually, a couple of years back, someone sent me this. Somehow, this went inside the cupboard. When it goes into that, na, you'll never find it back again. Next monsoon, we'll try it out. And then, when the rain stops, there. Clean and nice. Now, don't ask me where to buy this. This is from China. I don't even know if they sell this in India. You know what? These days, I get a lot of questions from youngsters, my young subscribers. about career guidance unfortunately i am not the right person to do that some people are stuck in deciding what to do next they're done with the bachelors and they wanted to pursue higher education but they have a lot of confusion in it like where to go what to decide how to decide for all such career guidance obviously you need a proper guidance for all of that someone who can show you the way someone who can show you a proper path one such amazing company is called leverage edu and in case you are in that particular point in your life if you're stuck somewhere you know you're done with your basic education and you have dreams to pursue your higher education in a different country all this sounds very complicated well not anymore especially if you're one of those whose dream is to pursue higher education in the UK then UniConnect by Leverage Edu is the right platform so UniConnect is a virtual university fair by Leverage Edu India's biggest virtual university fair platform which helps you pursue education in the top universities in the UK for less than 25 lakhs oh yes you heard it right you can stand a chance to study in the UK by participating in the mega event which is absolutely free of cost and you know what's more you can even avail a special sponsorship worth rupees 5 lakhs per student that's not all there are more benefits you get one on one consultation you get customized scholarship assistance ielts prep education loans and even assistance with visa what's more amazing is you can apply to multiple universities without any application cost take a notebook and write this down i'm not trying to ask you to buy something here this is for your own benefit this mega event is going to be hosted from 3 pm to 6 pm on 8th october 2021 and is eligible for january 2022 admissions in the uk so yes if you want to make your study abroad dream come into a reality friday 8th october 2021 3 to 6 pm mark your calendars there's a link in the description for this event and once again let me remind you this is absolutely free so let's get out now i wanted to do something very interesting today i've been hurt i've been hurt a lot because of some reels that you people have been sending me let me change and let's go down I've always had two issues with the Kia Seltos. The first one is definitely the mileage. Second thing is there is some weird noise that keeps coming from behind. I don't know exactly where. It's been almost one year. No, no, November may be one year, but I didn't want to really concentrate on it and stress myself. But whenever I'm putting the music volume low. I am able to hear that sound and once you hear it you can't unhear it it is so irritating when so i was starting my i tried to find it i couldn't do it i sat behind while my dad was driving and tried to figure it out i couldn't first i thought this was the issue you see this rear seat belt ka hinge i thought that is moving a little bit and it's making that sound but i realized it's not that because because it is tight enough not to move that is the exact sound here but it is not coming from here but then one of my subscribers recently messaged me he has the same seltos gtx plus and he has the same issue he told me how he solved it so i'm going to try it now if it solves thank you so much buddy so what he was telling me is if you open this it seems a lock inside this that holds over here that is going to oh actually dude it sounds familiar he asked me to tape this up so that it doesn't have that free play we just need to give some packing I know it is not like a permanent solution. If this packing thing works, then I'll probably get some rubber washer or something and fix it permanently. For now, let's go for a spin and see. Chalo, that is the second issue I had with the Seltos. The first issue, the mileage. And today I'm gonna check it out because I told you right, I have to give it for service, which didn't happen because of rains and all that. Tomorrow I'm planning to give it, but before giving it, I wanted to see if only my Seltos is giving like five or six kilometers per liter, or is it a problem with my driving? I mean, when I drive it, Aram say in the city, bumper to bumper traffic, it gives me around ten kilometers per liter. And what's more irritating is people have been sending me videos of Seltos which give thirty two point three thirty five kilometers per liter joke. But this is the exact reel people are sending me. This says. 
32 point did, did you see that that's insane dude i don't know if this is fake looks very legit and genuine and more importantly is this a diesel seltos i'm not sure even if i drive like very smoothly in this car if i can get around 20 kilometers per liter on the highway can we achieve that i think we can achieve it let's try if it crosses that much i'm gonna give you guys a party how will i give you a party <laughs> <laughs> that is evil. 3 kilometers per liter. But don't count that. 100 meters to a girl. So once we start moving, slowly that gets calculated. I actually have some work towards high tech city Gachiboli. But today because we wanted a longer route and a much smoother route like a highway. I'm not going through the city today. Usually high tech city is around 25-30 kilometers if you go from the city from my house. But now because I wanted to test the car out, I'm going from the outer ring road. Which is like a proper 8 lane if I'm not wrong. Which circles the entire city. So as soon as we are today, we are going like this. It's gonna be around, I think, 74 or 75 kilometers but then economy if you are getting like 32 kilometers per liter which is a dream at least if you get 20 kilometers per liter we are sorted let's try it out let's see if the kia seltos gtx plus petrol dct 1.4 turbo can it deliver 20 at least Okay, as you can see right now traffic is not like so much uh, average speed is around 20 25 kilometers an hour urban traffic right now and mileage has increased to 8.1 Another one or two kilometers, it should go up to 10 kilometers per liter. There you see, we reach 10 kilometers per liter. And uh, as you can see, it is kind of an open highway. By the way, this route is my college route, my engineering college route. You remember, I came for the Tiger's Clear Order Lights Car Test. I mean, it is not on this road. You have to go to that dark place via this road. And if mileage is going on increasing, we are getting 10.3 for now. We have done 10 kilometers, so we, we finished one liter exactly from home. <laughs> Amazing. This is the first time the Kia Seltos is see open roads like this. Almost all its life, 5,337 kilometers, it's been in the city only. So we are on the outer ring road. There is our Kia Seltos. First time on such an open road. Hopefully you return nice mileage, okay? Don't let me down. People are making fun of me. My subscribers who own a Kia Seltos, they're all giving me hard times. They're pulling my leg. They're making fun of me. They're showing me proofs that a Kia Seltos gives 32 kilometers per liter. Hopefully, please explore the open roads today and give me good mileage, okay? Don't let me down. Two, three things to keep on check when you're doing a mileage test. Our first thing is to check your tire pressure. Tire pressure seems to be okay, around 34, 35. Second important thing is air current. If it's like two windows, then obviously the aerodynamics will work against it there'll be air drag air friction let's not get too much detail into it but practically speaking we shouldn't be considering all that today doesn't seem like a windy day so remove that factor third important factor is which mode is the car in there are three modes in this car eco normal and sports obviously you want the best economy so let's drive it in eco mode like i told you from here this whole highway uh, one two three four oh this is a 10 lane highway excluding this huge parking shoulder this is like a 10 lane highway this side five lanes that side five lanes amazing job so from here I said Gumke Gayato, Gachibol is around 73-74 kilometers. But the funny part is, you go through the city, it's going to take 1 hour 20 minutes, which is around 25-30 kilometers. But going on this 10 lane road also of 70 kilometers, it will still take 1 hour 30 minutes max. The best part is, you'll get good mileage. We are kitna sultry, it's so humid. Oh my god. It doesn't matter if you're going fast or slow, always wear your seat belt. Chalo, just for the record, we are starting at 11 kilometers per liter. Good luck, my dear car. Hello, I'll reduce the speed. Uh, let's be practical. Actually, I'll put the cruise under 70 km per hour. Let's see if we can touch that. Please, help us do it. We're in this together. Let's do it. The cruise. Done. 70 km per hour. It is so boring to sit like this, dude, on cruise control. It's like I'm going on a train track. The road is pakka straight, amazing. Oh, by the way, correction, I said it's a 10 lane. It is not a 10 lane, it's a 4 lane. I mean, 4 for total, 8 lane. Usually, our highways are, I think, 4 lane, right? 2 lane, 2 lane, yes. Sriman, you forgot how many lanes are there in our highways. Obviously, what else will happen? You're not going on rides. No, no, don't worry. Abhi will start rides. Soon. Abhi October aagya, so it is riding season. 10 or 15 days. Plans are already going on. So, just wait for it. <laughs> 
Oh yes, oh yes, we crossed 33.7 kilometers per liter. Dude, that. 4.1. Of course, I'll be honest. I reset the mileage just now because actually I had to reset while we started on the outer ring road. I forgot to do that. Now I did it, and of course there's a slope now. And uh, cruise is around 70 kilometers per hour. In round 32.2 GPS, there are no. Of course, guys, there are no. One day, one day, one picture, one message. Bro, your car is at fault. Uh oh, it is slowly going down. <laughs> Three months after, reason don't get too excited fast. 26 kilometers per liter, but still okay. Let's see. 33, 34. That's not realistic because the moment you touch the accelerator a little bit, thoda bhi throttle liya na, it will go down like this. Right now, two kilometers done since the reset time, and it's still 26.3, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> Next level, amazing, bro. Chalo, we both did the mileage updates. I'll directly see you, I think, after 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers just from my home to Gachiboli. It's weird, but yeah, seriously, it is better to go like this. Yeah, no tension, no tension of traffic, nothing. So only thing is, it's boring. But then play some good music and chill like this. With that figure of 22.7 kilometers per liter, you can consider that as the practical one, the most realistic one, because uh, we finished 15.3 kilometers since the reset, where it showed 33. <laughs> From that time onwards, uh, 15.4 kilometers done, and it's giving 22.7 constantly at uh, 70 kilometers per hour. Which means if I do long drives in the car, and which I'm planning to, we're getting anything above 15 kilometers per liter in a petrol car. Petrol car, it is good. చూసి మంచిం గుర్తుపట్టాలన్నమాట కార్ చూసి మంచిం గుర్తుపట్టాలన్నమాట బయట నుంచి లోపల నుంచి ఇక్కడ నుంచి అయినా లుక్ హూస్ హియర్ ఆఫ్టర్ అ లాంగ్ 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 టైం వేర్ హావ్ యు బీన్ బ్రో బిజీ జర్మనీ బిన్ బిజీ హి వెంట్ టు ది బర్త్ ల్యాండ్ ఆఫ్ BMW అరట్ల లేదురా కార్ లో చూసిన బైకిల్ జుడలే ఇట్ సీమ్స్ సమ్ హౌ ఇట్ డింట్ లైక్ ది BMW స్టోర్ దేర్ ది హెడ్ క్వార్టర్స్ ఆఫ్ BMW నాట్ వాస్ సర్ప్రైజింగ్ దట్ దేర్ వాజెంట్ మచ్ ఆఫ్ అ బైక్ కల్చర్ at least it wasn't visible in the places that i went to but you so could see you know, one or two bmws right the 250 few very few which is surprising so hyderabad mein there more you see i would i would say safely you'll find more gss here than i saw on the street there see enunta hyderabad lo oka 30 unta gss oh mastu ne 1250 esko 1200 1200 maybe 30 40 at least i think i saw maybe a dozen oh pura germany mein pura germany mein that's very bad no enti la chuttu tirtu nu మళ్ళీ అక్కడికి వస్తుంది ఎప్పుడు నీకు అర్థం నీకంతటైతుందరాస్ మాడిపోయిన మసాలా వస్తుంది ఏంటంటే ఒక్కొక్కడు వచ్చి నాకు వీడియోలు పంపించారు స్క్రీన్ షాట్ పంపిస్తున్నారు బ్రో సి సెల్టోస్ ఇస్ గెటింగ్ థర్టీ త్రీ నేను ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు ప్రూవ్ ఇట్ టుడే థర్టీ ఫైవ్ కూడా వచ్చింది నాకు బట్ యా ఇట్లా స్లోప్ లో యూ హ్యావ్ టు డ్రైవ్ లైక్ దిస్ నాకు ఇంకా ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ త్రీ వస్తుంది ఐ వెల్కమ్ టు ది ఆడి క్యూ ఇట్ యుల్ గెట్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ అ స్లోప్
You know one more thing what I realized? The mileage we got today in the Seltos is better than my 1250 GSS mileage. I mean if you're riding the 1250 in the city, peak to peak traffic, which you don't usually do, that bike is not meant for that. But in case you happen to do that, you get somewhere around 16 to 18 kilometers per liter. On the highway, you get up to 25, 26 kilometers per liter. So pretty close here. Yeah. That's interesting. Anyways, for some reason, if you like this video, do hit the like button, do share, do comment, do subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Take care.